North Korea has taken a new turn. South Korea's semi-official news agency Yonhap quotes Seoul's unification minister as saying that Pyongyang is showing signs that it's getting ready to conduct new nuclear tests. Now, earlier, South Korea said the North had moved ballistic missiles to its eastern border in preparation for a possible missile test later this week. Liu made the statement before members of parliament. He referred to a media report that the North Koreans had increased activity at their underground test site, but he did not elaborate. The daily newspaper Chungan Ilbo reported that South Korean intelligence had detected more workers and vehicles moving around the site in the northeast. Uh, this follows hot on the heels of Sunday's briefing by the National Security Chief uh, in which he said that Wednesday, April the 10th, looked like the date around which a missile test may be carried out. He said that was the case because that was the date that Pyongyang gave diplomats, foreign diplomats, in the capital of North Korea as the date after which their safety could not be guaranteed. Also to do with Kaesong, the joint industrial complex, that was the date that workers were told that they had to give their uh, leave plans by. Now, both of these things were put to the Defense Ministry spokesman at the briefing earlier on Monday uh, and he said to reporters he didn't give the same confirmation as the unification minister but he did say to reporters that since February since the, the third nuclear test that North Korea carried out uh, the defense ministry had been saying that North Korea simply had to make a political decision to carry out another test everything to all intents and purposes was ready that's because it's believed North Korea used the western tunnel at the site for that test in February uh, and the southern tunnel remains prepared and remains ready to go. He was asked if, uh, if w which of these things would happen. He said there was no reason that both a missile test and a nuclear test could not be carried out at the same time. They were in different parts of the country. So essentially it's up to North Korea to do this if they wish to. And there are reports early this morning in the New York Times that uh, the United States and South Korea have actually drawn up plans for a response, um, should there, a swift response, should there be any action by uh, North Korea. This is, uh, by all accounts, um, uh, the, hitting the source of any North Korean attack uh, with similar weapons. Now, we already know that B-52 bombers and stealth fighters have been moved by the United States into uh, the area there, but anything that is uh, provocative uh, from North Korea will, I think, be um, something of a surprise, uh, given the fact that the United States has um, uh, today um, cancelled, uh, announced it's cancelling um, an exercise involving its uh, Minuteman III um, a, a ballistic weapon, and uh, that was due to take place off the coast of, uh, uh, of California. Um, they've cancelled it because they thought it would be uh, seen as provocative to North Korea uh, in the current climate. And, uh, of course, the uh, sign of the U.S. concern um, is the fact that um, the top military uh, official in uh, South Korea at the moment, James Thurman, uh, who was due to come back and give evidence to Congress this week about the crisis on the Korean Peninsula, has been told to stay put in Seoul. Kim Jong-un's regime turning once again to its airwaves to make a point about its enemy to the south. North Korean soldiers release their trained dogs on this effigy of South Korea's defense minister. A U.S. ally, says the commentary, who deserved to be chewed to death. But with tensions so high, it was South Korea and the U.S. who tried to accommodate the erratic Kim today. The Pentagon canceled the test launch of a Minuteman long-range ballistic missile in California. While in Seoul, the top military commander postponed a trip to Washington, the Allies avoiding anything that might be misread. But the North Koreans remain defiant and on track to test at least one of their own missiles, the Musada, with a range that could in theory reach Guam in the Pacific. Some intelligence reports suggest Kim will choose to launch before or on April 15th, the anniversary of Kim's grandfather, Kim Il-sung, the founder of the nation. The missile is probably unarmed, but even an accident could be catastrophic. I could see a major war happening if the North Koreans overplay their hand this time because the public in South Korea, the United States, and I think the whole region is fed up with this guy. Even China, North Korea's main ally, is losing patience. 
In a strong condemnation, the Chinese government, without naming North Korea, said it does not, quote, allow troublemaking on its own doorstep. And with Secretary of State John Kerry coming to Korea later this week, some see a window for a joint diplomatic offensive on the North Koreans. They're very difficult, but I think we need a new negotiating track, and I think the key is going to be the United States and China. But others are mindful that when it comes to taming the hermit kingdom, diplomacy has never worked. South Korean sources are saying they believe the North's missile test could happen as early as Wednesday. This whole peninsula will be holding its breath. Well, you can see behind me uh, there is a South Korean uh, naval vessel just off the island behind me. This is uh, the island where there was a strike in 2010 by North Korea. Uh, four people died, three Marines and one civilian. And at the time, North South Korea chose not to re retaliate. The South Korean government at the time, uh, the decision by them uh, was that they did not want to antagonize anything. They didn't retaliate. There's a big difference now, though. There's a new government in Seoul. Uh, the Americans and that new government in Seoul have both pledged that they will retaliate to any North Korean aggression. So if Kim Jong-un does to decide to fire his artillery rounds, which are placed just about four or five miles in North Korea, just over there, uh, then there would be a retaliation and that could escalate things. So I think there are, the tensions right now on the Korean Peninsula are very, very high and this week will be key.